everybody, welcome to Bird Tech. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how Dolly 2 is one of the most amazing things to come out of machine learning. Alright, welcome back. So, let's take a look here at this... Uh, at this kind of API here. Now, DALI2 is basically a neural network where you can type something into text and it will create an image. Let's take a look at what it can do and let's take a look at why it's so awesome here. So, for example, so if you can see the text here, it says an illustration of a baby daikon radish in a tutu walking a dog. So, look at this. It basically creates all of these here. Now, look, look at this here. An armchair in the shape of an avocado. It's pretty interesting. Now, all of these are completely, completely generated here, right? A storefront with open.ai. So this is really interesting here. Now, what's also interesting is that they have a cat, right? But with different sketches. Now this is, and, and so, so, so interesting, and I'm gonna get into why this is so, uh, so crazy here. But you'll see here that it says like a pentagonal green clock and a green clock in the shape of a pentagon here, right? And you can see here that it's a pentagon with a clock. So what it's doing here is that it is not only creating images, but it's creating, it's, it's actually kind of taking some leaps here on creativity. And I'm going to explain more about that in a second here, right? And then these, and this is, these, these aren't real. An extremely close up view of a, a capybara sitting in a field. Like, look at this. This is crazy. And then look at this. It says it's in voxel. So the reason why this is interesting is that it knows what voxels are. It'll kind of make a creative leap to do that here. And now there's a couple things is that the reason why this is so interesting is because it'll take leaps that you wouldn't normally know, right? Because there might not be enough information about voxels and it will kind of make that, um, that leap for you. It's really, really interesting. It's like a photograph of a bust of Homer. So we know Homer, like the statue here, and well, through all the pictures, it makes its own picture here. But let's take a look at this page here. So you can join the waitlist. I joined the waitlist. I think it's awesome here. But let's take a look at these here. So an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style, right? And so you can see this will give you the style here. But here's the thing. It gives you a style of Andy Warhol, right? Very cool stuff, right? Very easy, very cool. And then a pencil drawing. Crazy, right? So you can basically, you know, <laughs> that's, that's incredible. It's absolutely incredible right so let's take a look at this uh teddy bears mixing sparkling chemicals like mad scientists in a 90 saturday morning cartoon look at that so this is all done with machine learning okay digital art same kind of thing now this is very specific mixing sparkling chemicals as mad scientists right like they even put bubbles up there like it's it's unbelievable here right also you can do it in a steampunk style this, I, I think this is this is very funny right you can see like the steampunk they have like a vest a tie a bow tie they kind of got that victorian look to it like this is incredible so interesting like look at this even even this one here they have kind of like an old style microscope there right so the, the other one you can do is you can do an astronaut playing basketball right in a minimalist style or in a watercolor style okay but let's go back to the teddy bears here so you can do shopping for groceries uh in the style of yukio e if i'm pronouncing that incorrectly but it's basically that japanese style of of art one line drawing very cool stuff ancient egypt <laughs> so the other thing is like you can see it looks like they're in a museum right because like most of the pictures you would have of ancient Egypt would be in a museum. But that one, this one's interesting, right? Working on new AI research on the moon in the 1980s. Like, look at this. They have computers in the 1980s. Like, it's this underwater technology. It's so interesting. So anyway, this is incredibly, incredibly powerful. So you're going to see a lot of applications here. But you can see here that, um, you know, if you look at this, you can... You can take a look, you can put the dog in the painting, right? The dog's in this painting. Then the dog's over here in the style of that painting. And then it's photorealistically in here. And so you can kind of see that there's different dogs here, right? Unbelievable, right? And then with this one here, you can have 
the, the couch in two different areas, right? And you can see that there's different couches that it basically made here. You can take a look at the different styles of art here. So, and it basically does the same thing. Um, let's do Sunday in the Park with George. So, so if you don't know, this is a very famous painting. And then you have the Japanese style. Very, very cool stuff. You can see that it's incredibly powerful and I'm incredibly impressed. I cannot wait to be on the waitlist here because I really want to try this out. I really do. I think that you should join the waitlist as well, okay? So very interesting stuff here. Now, of course, there are some flaws with this. As you're going through the pictures, you can see like some of the things weren't exactly uh, done here, but this is a huge leap forward. So I'm gonna know your thoughts down below. And of course, if you do want to learn machine learning, you can pledge for this project on Kickstarter. It really does help us out when you pledge for this project here. This is an amazing bundle of courses where you get learn to trade. You learn Python and how to trade stocks. You learn about trading, Web3, the metaverse, and of course, machine learning here. There are 10 different levels taking anyone from beginner to a machine learning expert. It is the number one bundle of courses that you need to have in your library in 2022. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.